Let's give my lovely daughter a oh, hand. Quickly, yes. and uh, she looks just like me. Yes. 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 A whole lot prettier, amen. amen. A whole lot smarter. Wow. A whole lot more disciplined than I was. And I'm proud of you. And the little tweaking I do is just because I see you so much God in you and so much potential. And you know that you love. That's why I bark at the guys. I'm so proud of you. I marvel every time I see you. Egyptian. 
And his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him. And he made him overseer of his house, and all that he had put into his hand. And it came to pass from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and all, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand, and he knew not all he had, save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. But he refused. And said <laughs> right. unto his master's wife, Behold, my master wadeth not what is not what is with me in the house, and he hath committed all that he had to my hand. There is none greater in the house than I, neither hath he kept back anything from me but you. Because thou art his wife, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as she spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her, to lie by her, or to be with her. And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there with him. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. And it came to pass, when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, and she called unto the men of her house and spake unto them, saying, See, he has brought an he had brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice. And it came to pass, when he heard that I lifted up my voice and cried, he, that he left his garment with me and fled and got him out. And she laid up by and she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. And she spake unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which thou hast brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass as I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled out. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, when she spake unto him, saying, After this manner did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. I don't want to end here at 20. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound. And he was there in the prison. So... Joseph didn't deserve to be in prison, but after that lie was thrown in by Potiphar's wife, he was. And to connect this to something in my life, um, last year in seventh grade, I had eight different teachers because of my behavior. And I wasn't the best student, and I was on two different teams in my school. And then this year, my eighth grade year, I turn things around and I am in the National Junior Honor Society. I started at my um, promotion and I joined various clubs and joined different sports. And I believe at the end of the story, Joseph was made overseer of all things after he was released to prison because he was the interpreter of dreams. And he gave the king, I think, a dream that he was innocent in this incident. And I just wanted to use that story to show you how where you, like the deeper you are, the deeper your foundation can be. And the, you can always turn your bad situations into good situations. Amen. Amen. Amen.
lot, but what y'all trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Let's thank God that we use them, amen. amen. It's not easy, it's never easy, even some 20, I don't know how long it's been, but 26 years standing behind this pole, but it's never easy. It's an awesome task, uh, it's a fearful thing. I can bend Jordan so staying I can call it Jordan Pound after I found out some other money would be here. I could call her 10.30 last night. She didn't see the message until 3.47 this morning. She didn't murmur, he didn't murmur. He got dressed apart, amen. Yes, 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 yes. Looking good, sounding good, amen. 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 Thank God, thank God. So she was able to put herself out there and yeah, amen. you know learn from it. Yes, right. And that broken fellowship is something. It's something. Yes. And, and it beat her. I didn't disown her. That's still right. Her, still provided That's for her. But I wanted her to feel yeah. what it's like not to be in good fellowship. Amen. With the one person who loves you would do anything for you. Yes, right. That's not the one. It's not a great fellowship. Amen. 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 That's not the one you turn your back on. If you do, you what? Apologize. Oh, yeah. We couldn't move forward until she basically repented. That's right. That's it. That's all she did. I was there, but there was a little something in between. Come on now. There were fig leaves. Instead of what? The glory of the Father and that relationship. She found out. You're talking about mom and dad. You're really talking about your heavenly father. Maybe there's some broken fellowship with your heavenly father. It's not that he's not watching or not that he's love you, but you gotta stop and say, what? What's wrong with you? You know, I wasn't looking at it correctly. I wasn't doing things correctly. I wanted my way. I wanted it when I wanted it. Hello? Hello? That's something that never goes away. We have to humble ourselves. And show on. Jesus said, you love me, you gonna do it. What I tell you to do? Amen. 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 So, uh, thank God for Jordan. Amen. Letting us know that no matter how deep and dark it is, That's right. joy can't come That's in the right. morning. Yes. 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 You can go from the last to the first. Yes. Yes. You can go from the tail to being the head. Amen. You can go from riding the bus to driving a van. Well, or better yet, being driven. <laughs> In a man. Amen. It can happen overnight. I only knew the glory. I didn't know the story. Set that up. I always looked at him as a proper child, but I didn't know he had some troubles uh, last year. But this year, uh, he applied himself. I'm going to. It's never too late. Bro, it's never too late. As parents, you know, sometimes we walk in pride. You know, I'm the older one, so I'm always right and I always do right. No. Yes. <laughs> no. Not so. Not so. We do better at hiding that. Well, preacher. We're better at covering it up. Mm -hmm. But the same expectations for the coming generation is the same expectations that God has for us. That's right. You know, we were saying earlier that certain things in the Bible just jump out. And one of the things that always jumped out to me is great as Jesus is and was as he walked the earth. He always identified with his father. He said in my father's house, there are many mansions. He said, I only do what I see my father. He only say what I hear my father is saying. The only power that I have is that what my father has given to me. You hear him say things like, I'm not hungry. He said, because I have a different type of meat. My meat is to do the will of my father and to finish. So uh, there's a lot to be learned. And as parents, how many times as you're talking to your children, you hear God talking to you? Amen. Amen. How many times as you look at your children, you feel like you're looking at yourself? I was talking to my sister about John, and I was like, man. I was like, man. Is that how God is looking at <laughs> I was like, woo, I got some work to do, amen? Amen. amen. You see the potential. You yeah. see the wonderful opportunity. Yeah. Uh -huh. And sometimes you just question. 
what's, what's going on? The carpet's laid out before you. You know, resources in there, the opportunity. You know, but like me as a father, always trying to figure out the next move. God has already figured out the next move. Amen. 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 So let's just thank God for what He has done. Let's thank God for our uh, Father in the house. See, some people try to run from leadership and run from authority. I stay up underneath authority. Amen. That's right. That's what you want to be. There's protection. Yes. Yeah. Everybody wants to be the grace and be the head. I thank God that I have a cover. Yes. I thank God that I have a support system. Yes. Amen. I'm not trying to run out and blaze the trail. You know, I'm unique in my own way. Everyone has their own thing, but you know, I think I'm a part of the family. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sound head. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sound. Uh, a head that cares for you. Once again, you know, if someone loves you, they have a right to speak into your life. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. They have a right to say things. They have a right to chastise. They have a right. That's right. They have a right to correct you. Yeah, they have a right. Because they love you. Yeah. Because they love you. That's right. And a lot of people, you know, unfortunately, this generation, because of the disintegration of the Home. And it's not by chance. Look, it's not by chance. The devil, the devil knows if he can break up that household, right. he can put it then into the kingdom of God and into the community. If he can, you know, it says you smite the shepherd, you what happens? Yeah. So if you knock the head off, what's the body going to do? Don't care how big your muscles are, don't care. As large as your feet are, I don't care what kind of car, you get heads chopped off, where are you going? Yeah. Why you move around for a little bit like a chicken with his head chopped off? Yeah. You, 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 days are numbered. Mm -hmm. So, um, you see sometimes young people have a hard time with instruction. Mm -hmm. You tell someone to get off your step. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. You pick up their tobacco. Right. Mm -hmm. Off of your house. Yeah. Next thing you know, your car shot up, That's your cat right. is dead, yeah. and, and your kid's in the hospital. Yeah. Just so you right. told them to get off your step. Yeah. And they're not even, they just don't know how to receive instruction. That's good. Because they're mad that their dad never gave them. Yeah. Come on, sir. If you spare the rod, you spoil the child. I thank God I had to come home a certain time. That's right. I thank God I couldn't do everything else everyone else was doing. I thank God I can stand here and say today, once again, I told you so that you guys that were here, you missed a good one. <laughs> but I thank God that my mother didn't leave my father. And she had every reason in the world to leave. Every reason. I can tell you right now, I would not be standing here today. If what God had put together, they had allowed someone or someone or something to put it aside. Right. Right. So I thank God for the example. Yes. Yeah. Zoe expressed, you know, that she's blessed to have and she has parents that love one another. That doesn't happen all the time. That's right. And playing off of what Jordan said, I, I was married before. A short period of time when I was younger. And it was it was hard. God told me not to do it. I did it anyway. But because I was in the face of God, I do not want Don't use that license. <laughs> but no, but what I'm saying is from what I experienced bad, I said, I'm not doing this again. That's bad. I want something to be good. I guess where the good marriage starts with. Don't, someone say, don't start, don't start. Don't start, don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Teaching. A house divided against itself. A person can't stand. You can't stand. The scriptures say, he who troubles his own household inherits the wind. That's not a movie, saints. That's a scripture. So, you have to understand some things. Certain trouble you just don't want. Your household, that's your foundation. 
I don't care if you have 17,000 square feet. If you got a problem with your foundation, that 17,000 square feet is coming down. That's it. It's going to be cracked. Yeah. It's going to be on level, uneven. Right now. We'll be hearing what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. And what the devil meant for that, I was able to, through Christ, through humility, through repentance, learn from my mistakes how to do it what? I don't just have a good marriage. I make it a good marriage. I have the same decisions. Just because you have a beautiful wife doesn't mean the other women aren't beautiful. Just because she has a handsome, rich husband doesn't mean there aren't other and oh there's rich people out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on now. We've been together 20 years. We've been together 20 years. Amen. We get bored stuff in 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, y'all not Come on, sir. Preach. Oh, my God. Preach. Come on, saints. That's right, Romeo. Yeah. <laughs> But I thank God. My parents have been married so long, they don't know how long they're married. It's 50 plus. Yeah. It's 50 plus. Me too. We've been good there. It's been a bad day. Yeah. But guess what? Today, we're still here. Hallelujah. An apostle will always stop and say, you know, because of some of the things they have done, an example they have set before, the trail they have blazed, and the uh, road they have carved out. Anyone ever drive down the road? Anyone ever drive down the highway? Yes. Did you realize that highway wasn't here when God created the earth? <laughs> it was trees. Yes. There were rocks. <laughs> and someone had to plant it. Mm. Someone had to get out there and work. You saw you complaining about the road being bumpy. Now it's smooth. You forgot all about it. But somebody laid that. It's an expense to do all that. There's a cost. There's a cost that comes along with that. But because of the great example they've shown and the godly example they've shown and some of the things that have been reported, and I've seen uh, some things, I'm able to, you know, focus some attention on my family that maybe others aren't. And sometimes a apostle will say, man, I admire you. You're a good father. And I always return by saying, I learn from the best. Yeah. And you know when you learn from the best? Not when the sun is shining. That's right. Sir. That's right. Not when everything's all kissy, huggy, and, and, and beds of roses. When the thorns. When the roses wilt. When they get brittle. When it gets ugly, yeah. when it gets dark, Amen. when it's not a mutually beneficial situation, oh, yeah. when bats are turned, come on now, when the wind is blowing, that's when you learn from the best. Oh, my God. And I always look. Uh-huh. It's either look when it's sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet. sweet, is sweet. <laughs> but I watch when it's sour. Yeah. I watch when your daughter's in prison. I watch when she's fighting cancer. I watch when this isn't going right, and that's what I watch. That's right. Watch it still come to church. That's right. Watch it tie thousands of dollars. Watch it continue to fly here, there, and everywhere to help other people. That's right. I watch the humility and patience. Yeah. When people he shouldn't even be talking to and entertaining. Wow. He's wow. a yeah. 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 Humility. See, that's what you, you got to learn from someone and someone that knows something. Yeah, know something, sir. That's right. And that's been out there. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking about the Christ yes. in him, in us. Yes. In us. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we thank God. We thank God for you, Zoe. You did an outstanding job. I'm proud of everyone and everyone's individual you know, success. We're a family. Yes, we are. We're a family. Yes, yes we, we are. are. We're a family. Yes, yes we, we are. are. We are a family. Yes, Amen. We are a family. You gotta understand this. Beautiful God's own family, not just the name. That's right. We're a family. That's right, sir. Mother Sarah, that's my mom. Amen. Sister Donna, that's my wife. That's my sister. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Emmanuel, that's my wife. My brother. That's right. Amen. Brother Wife, definitely my mom. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's grandma, spiritual. 
spiritual man. Spiritual. Spiritual. Somebody was going to South Philly and see. Oh, thanks, man. No, not her. I remember I thought next door. Somebody was going around the corner and see. Somebody used to say. It's not God. It was Godmother? I think so, yeah. Walk a little bit. We had to walk a little bit. I got my dollar, but I had to work for it. Now you go to OB with your candy and get a dollar. I knew I was going to shoot. I'm going to get my dollar. My little buddy Scott's kid. I got it. My orange slice, but man, I had to work for it. I had to work for it. See, I'm ready for the judgment to see the crowd. Thank God for what he's done. I thank God for this community that we have. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This community. Your community yeah. is common unity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which these days is uncommon. Yes. Uncommon. So, uh, you know, you remember the centurion. When Jesus said something, he was like, all right, cool. Jesus said it. It's done. But he explained himself. He said, I understand you. He said, because I'm a man of authority, under authority, too. So saints, you know, in a family structure, there's a dad. I know one family, I'm talking about their dad was crazy. And this person used to always be like, this is my dad. And she would smile and honor him. I was ready to get a gun and shoot him. Seriously. But she knew in spite of it all, if she was going to have days that were well and long upon this earth, oh, here's God working on something. Say, you got to deal with that. And I'm not saying it's easy to deal with. You got to ask God to give you that double, somebody said, uh, double anointing. Double, double anointing. anointing. Somebody said, double portion. Double 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 you got to get the Manasseh anointing. You gotta get the Ephraim in this Yeah. You gotta get God only and, and I love it. If you if you listen to what the Spirit of the Lord has been saying from day one up until now in the revival, it's not by might. And it's not by power. It's by the spirit. Only the spirit of God. <coughs> Is going to change your situation. Yeah. Only the Spirit of God is going to turn you into the individual that God sees you to be. Amen. You can go to all the therapy you want. Amen. You can accumulate, work all the hours. It's only God that makes it rich. Yeah. And He has no sorrow. Amen. Only God can turn your children around. Amen. Only God. You can really wipe away those tears. Yeah. And it's his spirit. Yes. Not the ritual. Not the religious gymnastics. His spirit. Yes. Somebody say his presence. Yeah. His presence. There's the fullness of joy. There's the fullness of joy. It's in his presence. You can come to church and be so far gone. Yeah. You can be doing, you can be praying, you can be preaching, you can be so far gone. You can be you know about it. Right. Amen. Amen. And you could be in an alley in Calcutta in the presence of the Lord. God. Mm -hmm. And your whole situation oh, you turn around. Oh, you preach, yes. Because it's his presence. Yeah, it's your father. His presence. Hallelujah. So, we thank God for all that he's done. We thank God for all that he's doing. We were saying the monastic. This will work. That God does on the inside of us. Yes. That you can honor. Yes. That you can love. Yes. That you can really be grateful. Somebody say, really. 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 So there's all types of thank yous. Mm. I know one of the reasons why they go to Africa is that people are just so appreciative. Yes. You yes. feel it. You go like, man. Yeah. Hey, shit. Man. Yes. 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 You know, my wife and I go to Jamaica. It's all inclusive. All you can eat, everything's paid for. You pay a lot. You get your own butler. You get someone five dollars, man. Uh -huh. It makes you feel good. Yeah. Because they're so happy. Yeah. I'm walking there. You think I'm king? <laughs> oh, Mr. Odin. You are. 
but out of their appreciation. Yes. Thanks. Hey, we got a lot to be grateful for. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. You're a son. You're a daughter. Yes. Of the most. You got some wonderful hands. Yes. Cable. Able and willing. Want the best. Don't want anything from you. My God. But that you prosper. And that you be in good health. Bishop don't want you to chill in good chillin'. Bishop wants you to live long. Yes. And live strong. Yes. And be rich. And be rich. <laughs> 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 so we thank God, we honor you, we appreciate you. We thank God for all of you. We thank God for the next generations coming up. Hallelujah. For what they're doing. And we thank God. We all have stories. And that's the other thing, Saints. Don't let the devil lie to you and say, nobody knows what you're going through. Amen. It's a lie. It's a lie. If I told you my son, I just I just don't get the devil going. That's right. You can't praise God and pray for God. Yes. Yeah. 
Father, thank you. Look who, look who are you going through? When they say if you're going through hell, the worst thing you can do is stop. stop. Keep moving, man. Amen. Amen. Have grace when you're in the fire. Yes, thank you. Trust me, we've all been there, saints. It doesn't mean some of us aren't there. We're just not whining and moping and That's pulling right. on people's strings. Because you got to pull on the strings of hell. That's it. That's what it is. Thank you. Hope you're here with the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. Saint joy does come in. Yes, you might have had a bad relationship, but if you learn from it, you can have a really good relationship. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I tell people all the time, I'm not married, I'm happily married. Amen. 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 I'm responsible for you. You're not responsible for how someone else treats you. You're responsible for how you treat them. That's right. That's, That's all you're accountable for. When you stand before God, He's not asking you about them. No, man. He's not asking about you. That's what He did. what you did. Uh -huh. With the measure of faith. My God. Amen. 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 So, I hope you said something. I know they said something. Let's give it to them. one another because you are by far definitively and without any challenge amen the best spiritual children and natural children that any man could have amen so give yourself Please, please be seated. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your spiritual father. Amen. Your natural father, your pastor, your overseer, your bishop, and the go-to guy. Amen. The go-to guy. And Mr. Rasan was speaking. Thank you for the accolades. Amen. Praise God. Every time I see each and every one of you, it brings joy. Amen. Joy that you can't even quantity because there's so much quality involved in it that we leave the quantitative out and just pursue the qualitative, amen? amen. Because we're always looking at quantity and trying to figure out is quantity, that's more. But let me tell you, there's some very, very precious things in life that are just so quality. Yes. Yes. that you can't buy, can't. you can't reproduce, amen, you can't sell, amen, it just is, praise God. And I also want to give a tribute to John Jasper Bowden Sr. Amen. 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 how to get up and go to work every day. Amen. Amen. He knew how to pay bills. Yes, yes. I didn't know that they could basically cut your utilities off. Okay, so I had a hospital. <laughs> I didn't know that people who can send you letters saying you owe something or owe a bill or you're delinquent or something until I had bills because I never experienced that at 2218 Water. I love somebody. And I was born at 2214 Wharton, then I lived at 2218 Wharton until I went to Cheney State University. Amen. 
And I thank God for those formative years. And I remember my dad being very simple. He kept it simple. Just do what I tell you to do, and you won't have any problems out of me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like Jim would say, I know what he wants. I don't give him any options, so therefore I have no trouble. Mm -hmm. So some of you who go to Jim to try to get what I say explained to you, he'll tell you that's how it is, okay? Mm -hmm. Because men, real men, say what they mean and do what they say. I love somebody. That's a real man. That's the kind of man I grew up with. Praise God. And when I grew up, you know, you, grew, you had, you were raised in your home, and then you were raised on the street. Amen. And you knew how to handle the street. And I remember we had a conversation. Okay. And in the house, if you if I did something wrong, my father would grab me in the car. Okay. Boom. On the street, they did something wrong. They grabbed two hands. Okay? Come on, somebody. Amen? So they kept it real because you had to always honor your mother and your father. And I was thinking this morning that I learned to cook when I was six years old. Because my mother had a stroke. She couldn't use her right hands for a long period of time. So I had to start cooking at six years old. So my cuisine that I fixed was, anybody remember chip, chip beef and gravy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scrapple, bacon, sausage, egg omelets. Come on somebody. Egg omelets, steaks, all stuff at six years old. So then when I finished that, I had to plug the cord in the light switch because there was no receptacles in the kitchen to iron my clothes, okay? And my father was instrumental in teaching me all of these things, praise God, amen? amen. But he taught me to honor people, respect people, and I could not bring a bad report to the house. Because if you brought a bad report to the house, your mother, your father, your aunt, your neighbors would kick you behind. I mean, real kick butt, okay? Always had bruises, always with some blood or something, when they beat you up back in those days. Yeah. Praise God. But thanks be to God. Never been in a police car. Never been in jail. Never had a promise. Not that nature. Amen. Because they did not spare the rock. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise God. And I want to talk to you just a little bit. Not going to keep you long. But I want you to get an understanding of the power. Okay. And the purpose. Okay. And the, the, the prosperity of the father figure. Amen. And the father comes from the word pater, P A T, which means pattern. And Jesus says over, and I'm going to have you look at it, he says over in John uh, 14, he said, If you see me, you see the father. For me and the father are one. Okay? And he was responding to a question that Philip had said. And Philip said, Show me the father. And he said, you see me, you see the Father. And he said to him, how long have you been with me that you don't know who I am? Mm -hmm. And God is saying today, how long have we been with him to not know that he has provided everything for us? Yeah. If you would look here, you don't have to go over here now, in um, Ephesians 1, 3, it says, God, what? The Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ has given us all things, amen, and blessed us with all spiritual things in heavenly places through Christ Jesus, amen, and he set a pattern, but he set a method in which it was to be played out, amen, and I want you to turn over to one scripture in five, now Rasan gave some history about something that happened, I'm not going to go into it, <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to give a disclaimer. I don't remember it that way. That's all I'm going to say. Because if you syllabize the word history, what, what, what two words do you have? History. So that's history. <laughs> that's history. That's John 5. And I remember the very day each and every one of you came into Hopeful Gospel Family Church. I remember most, if not all, 
when your children were born, when you were carrying your children at Hopeful Gospel Family Church. I remember that. Praise God. And I remember the interesting thing, your children were born knowing my voice. Yes. I love somebody. Amen. They knew my voice. I could speak to them and they would they knew my voice. Why is that? Because they heard it while they were in your mother's mother's womb. Amen. We're still in the womb of God. Amen. We're still hearing his voice. He's still protecting us. He's still feeding us. All good and perfect things come from above. Amen. So one of the things that a father has to do is pattern himself so that you can see Christ in him and see God through him. And most of the time, we don't like the way that's done because there are firm words, there's consequences executed, there's rules and regulations, and we don't always like that. But in 35 of Psalms, it says that God takes great delight <laughs> in the prosperity of the servant. Amen? Amen? Now I'm going to ask you to be honest. Are you better, wiser, and more prosperous now than when you entered the, these doors at Hopeful Gospel Family Church? Yes. 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 Amen? Yes. It's because of the Father in me. Amen. And the Gospel and Pastor Jess, what she has put on the other ministers. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And that Father is a pattern. Jesus said on the cross, he said two words in, about the Father. What were the two words he said about the Father? At the cross. And, and I, that's close. He said, my God, my God. Why do that now for Satan? But I want the actual word Father. Father, forgive them. Because they know not what they do. What was the other one? Into your hands. Father, I commend my spirit into your hands. So the first word, what? And the last word, right? Father. Because he's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Amen. And our composition of who we are and what we do is based upon how you start with the Father, how you finish with the Father. But he will always say, you are my son. No matter how you trip up, how you fall, or whatever. This is my son. Yes, amen. I love somebody. And when I say son, it's not gender specific. Amen. Then he tells us in Romans 8, 16, it says, the spirit maketh witness with our spirit that we are what? Sons. That we are sons. And we are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We rule with him. We reign with him and we suffer with him. Amen. Amen. And one of the things that I'm, when I just did a demonstration with George, men teach you how to prosper, okay, and suffer through the affliction and come out even more prosperous. Amen. And I think that's what Tasha said. Now, Tasha's a daddy's girl, okay? And I'm not denouncing her. She has a speech for her daddy. She got a speech for her mother. She can say things to her mother, uh, baby, and she ain't going to say that to me because she knows my standard. Amen? My standard is it's going to be all right because you're all right and God got you, baby. Let's keep it moving. Amen? I think Pastor Fahim talked about that. Let's keep it moving. And that's what Jesus said. He said, Father, I command my spirit in you. And then he went about doing some things and making moves in hell and preaching uh, captivity captive, amen? Because it was he who ascended, was first he who what? Descended, amen? So that father figure is important and the father affects the soul yes. of the children. Yes. What is the soul? Mind, will, and emotions. Mind, will, and emotions, okay? And many children, not because of the mother's uh, fault, even the father's fault, being raised by women. They're very emotional. Very, very emotional. Those you see that are raised by YouTube by men, male influence, they're not quite as emotional. That's not taking anything away from them. I'm telling you the impact. Yeah. <coughs> the impact. See, a man will tell a man, you got to pay your bills. That's right. You got to obey your mother and your father and everybody else out there. You got to come home at a certain time. When Rasan was living at Barrendale Road and Tasha at Barrendale Road, they had to pay rent. 
okay, at the first of the month. And they had to be in the house at 12 o'clock, before 12 o'clock. And what happened if you were not in the house at that time? You get locked up. No, if you get locked up, you get what? Phone call. A phone call. What was the phone call? It's about that time. It's about that time, but where are you? Yeah. And what did God say to Adam and Eve? Where are you? Adam, where are you? Where are you? And he's still doing the clarion call. Where are we with him according to Jesus Christ? Wow. Amen. Amen. According to Jesus Christ. Amen. And every one of you in here is so exceptionally prosperous and talented. And you are basically turning the world upside down. Amen. 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 So that it can be turned upside right. Amen. No matter what you have been through, you are God's best. Amen. You are God's best. Anybody been through something? Anybody been denounced? Anybody been cheated on? God on? Guess what? God has taken it and completely nailed it to the cross through Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, this is a father's rap. This is a father's rap. Let's get it right. And I would tell Rasan and Mark in the office and stuff, I don't want to hear that. Where's I? I was out there. Everybody works for me. I don't want to hear it. Da 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 da. I don't want to hear it. Go find a chart. Go get it right. Get on the phone. Do this. I don't want to hear it. So guess what? I don't hear it because they handle it. Yes. Amen? Amen. And God has taught us everything that we need to do, how to handle everything through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ has faith without measure. We have faith with measure. Why the disparity? The right note? Do we grow in the faith every day? Because he is faith. All we have to do is have faith in his faithfulness. Amen. See, that's what we don't understand. It's not our faith. It's our faith in the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen? And faith is what? What is faith? The substance of things called for. <coughs> the evidence of things not seen. What's the evidence? The word. The word of God. The word of God. That's evidence. Because it doesn't come back void. It goes out to accomplish that which you please and prosper the place that it is sent. And God has sent us, every one of us, to glorify God <laughs> on earth as he is in heaven. Mama. And guess what? Nobody's qualified. But everybody's chosen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Everybody is called. Because guess what? God don't have any uh, anybody else. He doesn't have anybody else. And you think that, and I'm just giving a hypothetical. You think because you messed up and you did this that that disqualifies you? No. No. Because if you understand that how people mess up and how things get tripped up, yes. it allows you to have some humility. Yes. Push me when I was angry. I had to do more than what the doctors wanted me to do. More than what I thought I could do. Um, and uh, I thank you that you've given me some life lessons, um, even when I called and my uh, son-in-law was in a coma, and you said, I'm not your source, why are you calling me? And I thought it was harsh, but because of that, it sent me to my altar. I laid on the ground, on the floor, and I just prayed, and I was like, God, no, he is not my source, you're my source. You've got to do something. And um, we just prayed, and I only called a few people. I think Mom Sharon, you, and Pastor Prasad, and myself. And the next day, we came out to home. They kept me for one more day, and the next day, they sent them home. And even my rebellious daughter said, It was a miracle. Even the doctor said it was a miracle. That's why I thank God. I've spoken to my life many times and she used to say things like, you are so smart and you are so, and I thought that you were just pumping my head up. 
and um, but it made me see myself in a different way because I didn't have that before. And even Pastor Janice, she think I can do anything. I said, I, 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 I can't do decoration. Diane, Diane, you can't do it. And they, and they kind of like won't take no for an answer and not be like, but and she made me do something and it came out okay. But uh, she just would not take no for an answer. So um, I thank God for, for, for y'all union, um, taking me to Ghana, allowing me to walk in my destiny and my purpose. And when other people, like at first I had my own money and I went on my own, but and other people were supposed to